Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I'm Charlotte and this is the Pokecrossers channel. And in today's video, I'm going to bring you along on a speedrun build of my entrance, my island entrance. So, as always guys, we have daily Animal Crossings video on this channel. So if you enjoy the content, consider hitting that subscribe button and always drop a like if you stop by. Let me know what you think. So guys, let's get into the video. So you'll notice my face isn't here today. <laughs> and that's because I'm going to do a speed run. So we're going to do it on like a time lapse. Uh, before we start that though, I thought I'd just bring you along. And this is what my entrance looks like at the minute. So, I mean, it's not the worst, but I'm definitely it's not very like extravagant. That's for sure. Um, so I'm going to pull all these trees up, I think. The biggest issue I've got is that Philbert and Goose's house is right on this edge here and I don't really want to try and find them a new area for the house because my residence area is a bit is there. So what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try and build up and I'm going to try and bring the build like this way so it kind of travels diagonally towards the, the shopping district in theory. But you know, you know how these things work guys. <laughs> so um, without further ado. Let's get into the video. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to start to clear up this area a little bit. So I've got a few kind of signs all about and loads of trees. So I'm going to eat some fruits. We're going to clear these trees out. And it is going to give us, hopefully, a little bit more room so that we can make that kind of diagonal cut heading towards the, the sort of main plaza. I'm going to start building up the cliffs so we're just going to start at the airport entrance I've got one wall done we'll get rid of the pond I will move the pond somewhere else and I will then start to build up the opposite wall so it's almost like a cliffed up walk through area I want it to still feel quite natural um, and then like quite enclosed lots of waterfalls Alright, so now I've got like a couple of levels of my cliff, it's time to start thinking about where the waterfalls are going to be. I'm going to have to make um, a bit of difference with the, like a bit of difference line with that top cliff now I've looked at it again in order to be able to waterfall down. I'd like a two story waterfall either side. I think the noise of the waterfalls as well is really good so it gives that kind of ambience as you're, as you're coming in. All right, so now we've got waterfalls both sides and it's looking good. We need to sort out these top layers though in order to make them wide enough across all kind of diameters in order to be able to put the waterfalls in. As you can see at the minute, it's like one block not wide enough. It needs to be three three blocks in order to get one one block of waterfall, which is really annoying.
All right, so I've got these dinosaur heads, and for you guys who have seen my other videos, you, you'll see up near my museum, I've got a full Triceratops. Now, you guys know my island is named Ceratops Bay, because Triceratops are my favourite dinosaurs, and I am absolutely stir-crazy when it comes to dinosaurs. So what I wanted to try and create is that when you walk down here, you get almost, it looks like the dinosaur heads are like coming out of the cliff. Um, I'm not really sure how practical it's going to be, but we'll see. So at the minute, the only two heads I've got spare are Triceratops and I think that's a Pleosaur head. Um, I would like to maybe put a T-Rex head and see whatever, see what else we get like spare on the kind of fossil list. But I want to try and make it so it looks as creative as possible and like the dinosaur heads are like coming out of the cliffs. Alright guys, so you can see where I'm at now and I'm just going to kind of finish the look for now with this wooden floor. Yeah, I quite like the angles of the cliff, obviously I've rounded a lot of the cliffs off and I quite like that kind of natural floor through here with the waterfalls, the dinosaur heads. I definitely need to do some more dressing with this, so I'm probably going to have a part two to this video where we kind of almost just dress it like I'm pretty happy with the general gist of it the general shape the general idea but what I'm not so happy with is the like the the dressing of it so we need to add a little bit more some more flowers some more items some more trees maybe see if we can mix it up get some more dinosaur heads in there and go from there really but yeah I think it's much much better than it was it's got like a bit more character to it now it's a little bit different definitely encompasses the idea that I'm going with for the island um so yeah I think we'll leave it there for this video but there's definitely going to be a part two but let me know like any other ideas or bits of advice or things you should I think I should put in here I'm definitely going to move Philbert's house because I feel like he's now living in a prison <laughs> so we're going to move his house I think but yeah so definitely it's not 100% but it's much better and much happier with it um, than I was so yeah let's let's go from there I'll see you in the next video guys